We're talking about some of the worst moments of these people's lives and their kids, and they deserve a lot better than that. It's so un-Australian. Well, it's a whole new low for the Liberal Party today, isn't it? Eh? I tell you who's gaining something out of this, and it isn't all those experts out there who said, do not do this, do not do this, because they would know it's gone from a lawyer's picnic to a lawyer's backward, and they're going, you beauty, you beauty, bring in the money, bring her in, baby. That's exactly what's going on here. My goodness, like there isn't enough heartache going on in our family court system. Right now it is under-resourced, it is understaffed. And if you think the heartache and the suicides that are going on out there right now is bad enough, if you've got half a conscience over that side, wait till you see what's coming. Because it is, a, it is a train wreck in action. What is wrong with you people? You are playing with people's lives. And by the time they get to those family courts, they are vulnerable. Their mums and dads are vulnerable, and the poor kids, my goodness. Our courts don't look like courts on a TV or in movies. The truth is that process is messy and it is slow, and it is incredibly expensive and is becoming out of reach to many normal Australians out there. That's where our justice system is going. And that is so unfair. Here's a great divide between the rich and the poor. And even the system finds the right answers eventually, it can take a lot of pain before you get there. The Attorney General knows this is a problem. He knows that the courts are running too slowly. They're too ineffective. People like to say the first step towards fixing a problem is admitting that you have one. And you've got to give it to the attorney. He has made the first step. Where he's gone wrong is in how he wants to fix it. He says that we need to merge the family and federal circuit courts to clear out the backlog. Well, I don't know where you've been, mate, but you've seen the backlog in the federal circuit court and you want to merge them? Oh, I don't know what planet you're sitting on, Attorney General, but come back to earth. Because it's causing great harm to many Australians out there. Our court system, the whole lot of it, is in dire straits. And now you're going to throw this family court system in with the rest of it. Seriously. Seriously, mate. The time it takes to get things resolved is the time that people aren't getting justice, either have their defence upheld or their complaint acted upon. For families in the court system, it can mean months or years of waiting to be able to move on from a nasty marriage breakup, which has already caused havoc on the family unit itself, let alone the destruction it's doing to our Australian kids, our future. It means that a five-year-old could end up waiting for a third of their life before the courts finally figure out whether they're going to stay with mum or dad. And you wonder why our kids are having psychological bloody issues out there. This isn't a problem that merging the courts will solve. It's happening because the government isn't giving the courts the funding they need to be able to get through the work that they have to do. It's happening because our judges are overworked. Family court judges are working well into the night, every night, to get through cases that often involve children who are at risk of abuse and violence. As hard as they work, they've got to churn through them like they're on a production line. And that is not the way our courts were set up to deal with things. We're asking judges to work like they're someone in a burger joint. Yeah, just chuck a bit more lettuce, double the cheese. Great, no worries. Rushing about to get your orders filled and out the door as fast as possible. How is that justice? How is that bringing any Australian justice, let alone Australian families? Sometimes judges in the Federal Circuit Court have to deal with 70 legal matters before 10 in the morning. That's 70 decisions they have to make before most people have even had brunch or their second cup of coffee. That's what we're dealing with. How can any judge give those cases the consideration and care that they deserve? I don't care how good they are at their job, they're human. They could be the best in the world and they wouldn't be able to get through all that properly. Nobody could. Unless you've got some sort of superpower, these judges have inherited that somehow, and I don't recall you giving them that, Attorney General. Every person who's behind a legal case like that has a story to tell. But the judges don't have time to hear them. Instead, they're in and out as quickly as possible. That's not how you give broken families justice.
All you're doing is bringing them more hurt and more misery. And I didn't, I didn't sign up to be a politician to do that. Obviously, the attorney did, though. Because the turn of the cases going through the courts means that the chambers end up feeling like a shopping centre. It's right up and down the escalators, no worries, in and out, get your purchases and back out the door. One lawyer spoke out and said that being in the federal sort cir sort cir sort circuit court is like being in a zoo. We're sending Australian families into a zoo and expecting them to get a fair hearing. That's why we're asking the legal system to figure out how to look after vulnerable kids. We're asking them to look after our vulnerable kids and they can't even keep up with the cases. How much do we need to ask of them? Because I don't think there's much left. I don't think there's anything in reserve. They're overstacked. They're under-resourced. And this is not the way to fix it. Parents are supposed to get a fair hearing on whether they can get custody of their children. But instead, they're running around the zoo or waiting for the burger. That's what's going on here. The people who are copying it the most are the families who can least afford it. And that's getting further and further away from them. And that's got to bring destruction. It's got to bring destruction to the nation. So the people losing out here are the good old Aussie family. Those ones that are already doing it tough, more than likely. The ones that don't have the money to fight these cases in courts. The, money, the people, the families that don't have the money to pay for lawyers' banquets. Tony knows that. My word, he does. He's got to know that. Because apparently he's the attorney. He's educated. Apparently well educated. So why doesn't he know that? He says people shouldn't have to fork out buckets of money to get before a judge. He's right. That there's a problem in itself. At least you picked that up. But talking the talk ain't walking the walk, is it? Justice shouldn't come more easily to people who have to pay for it. This merger won't fix our broken court system. The problems that we have don't come from a family court being inefficient. They don't come from confusion about where to lodge a case. They're much bigger than that. The issues are much bigger than that. They go much deeper than that. And to push complex family law matters through the federal circuit court is going to end up in absolute disaster. It is going to end up in misery. And it's going to take people's lives. And it's going to cost the economy a lot more. You spend, just, you spend and then it doesn't cost you more. Fix it in the first place and fix it properly because you'll save in the long run. Were you taught that growing up, attorney? Or was it all just out of a textbook for you? Get some life experience because you need it. The federal, courts, the federal Circuit Court is one of the busiest in the country, along with family matters that deals with things like migration cases, bankruptcy, intellectual property rights, workplace law and consumer issues and so on. We can't get family support and services they need if we're sending them into a zoo to get their cases heard. They can't do that if they're having to represent themselves to judges who are overworked and, and tired and don't have the time to hear their stories and their background. We're talking about some of the worst moments of these people's lives and their kids, and they deserve a lot better than that. It's so un-Australian. 